Hey everybody, welcome to Kimball's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Interceptor, right? I think that's what it is. Yeah, Interceptor. Um, it's on Netflix. Now, I had some, heard some bad reviews about this. I shouldn't say. I mean, I, I saw, like, something on Facebook where it said, you know, there's mixed reviews or something like that. I don't know. Um, but Shauna Claus was up, and he said he watched it, and he thought it was pretty good. Um, it's about, like, an army captain who has years of training in the military, has to use her expertise um, to, you know, attack something. There's a remote missile interceptor station and she has to get in there. I don't know. Whatever. I'll get to know it. But here's the thing. It's 4.4 on IMDb, but 17,281 people rated it so far. Like, that's crazy. A lot of the movies I watch don't go over, you know, unless they're the big names. This one's not a big name, I didn't think. Now, um, I, Elsa Pataki? I don't know. Luke Bracey, I know. Other than that, when I scroll through here, I don't see anybody else I really recognize. And I thought he said Chris Hemsworth was in this. So I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be the wrong movie altogether. But that's what I'm here to do. I'll watch it. I'll let you know. Stick around. I'll be back. Thank you, Roger. You ready to go back to work? Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Interceptor. Uh, sorry, no check-ins, a short film, an hour and 30 minutes, whatever. Um, and, and let me get right off to the correction. And Chris Hemsworth is in this movie, but it's just like a cameo, a couple cameos. I don't, I don't know what the... Oh, he's the executive producer. Okay, just saw that coming up. He's actually, I guess that's why he's in it. Um, so, but like he only has a couple, he's, you know, he's not part of the entire plot line. He's just, you know, a bystander. And at first I'm watching it and I can't understand why a lot of the, um, reviews are low. I mean, yes, it's your mindless action film that we've seen, you know, people saving the, the world or saving the United States in this case. Um, and it's a female lead. And sometimes I think that drives down scores for people. Uh, but there are some other uh, glaring holes, I'll say, um, or whatever, areas of improvement. Now, um, it, what, I, what I, you know, and I can give you a plot a little bit better, uh, our main character, um, she gets reassigned to this um, post that is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that basically will help, will fire interceptor missiles to take down the, the nukes that come across, right? Um, and there's two places, and this happens right in the beginning, they take down the first place, uh, you know, the terrorists, and then they take all the nukes, and, um, you know, so they're the last line of defense. And now the terrorists have come here to um, take out the interceptor base so that they can send the nukes wherever they need to, right? And so she, like I said, was reassigned there. There's a whole backstory there. Um, which I think they could have done a little bit more with. I mean, it only explains, you know, what, why she was reassigned, essentially. And it helps out, like, in the after the ending thing, you know. Um, but I thought they could have done a, a little bit more with that if they really wanted to use it. Um, felt like it was just kind of tossed in there. But that's it. You know, that that's okay. That's not a big deal. But otherwise, I thought, okay, this is like your action films. It felt like one of those older action films. And even, oh, here's one I thought, the CGI, like, you know, when they send the nukes up and stuff like that, that didn't look so great to me. And normally, that, that doesn't bother me, but it just kind of stood out this time. Um, because, you know, it's all fake anyway, so what does it matter? But, so there's that. But then, I guess the other pieces of it, you know, there's a lot of different things where you're watching it, and it's like, why don't you just do this, X, Y, and Z. One of the things that I thought of halfway through they ended up doing like hours later. <laughs> I was like, why don't you just do that in the beginning? And I won't tell you what that is, but that was just my opinion. So there's a lot of that stuff. Now, also add in that it was very thrilling. There was times where you're like, hurry up. You know what I mean? Like, come on, like, oh no. Edge of your seat kind of stuff. I really felt that, you know, even though uh, I have some other issues with the movies, I thought this was, you know, kept you at the edge of your seat. So I like that. Um, and then, a lot of the dialogue, a lot of the one-liners, um, you know, a lot of the communication back and forth was just, I don't know. I thought it could have been done better. I mean, I think the way that even, the, you know, the, it's Madam President, the President, and they speak, there just seems like, 
Is that really how they would talk to each other? I get it, they're in a crisis mode, that kind of thing, but... So that, and then, um, and I'll leave you with one last thing. The, I, I don't know if the, he's the theorist or the lead statistician for the president, whatever it is, he's the person who determines like, okay, what are our odds on all these types of things, right? So he only has, he has one and a half scene, but the one scene with him was just, like that one really lowered my impression of this movie. Just, <laughs> you have to see it just for that. Um, it just, it cracked me up. And it wasn't supposed to be a funny moment. I'm a very serious moment at this point. Um, and uh, he gets put on stage uh, to talk to, you know, whoever needs to be talked to. And it was just comical. I mean, it was just, I find it very, very funny. It wasn't meant to be funny, but I found it very funny. So... There you go. That's all I got for me. I'm in the five range on this one. Um, again, it's nothing. I, I But I went into it thinking it was going to be like that. Um, so I think it met my expectations, I guess. I don't know. All right. That's it. Hopefully I was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.